Number 8. Die Glocke, the bell. For decades, there have been isolated reports of Die Glocke, or the bell, around the globe. It's supposedly a space-traveling UFO-like saucer ship constructed by Nazis researching during World War II. Evidence is emerging that Nazi-era Germans developed superior technology that allowed them to conduct secret trips outside the Earth's atmosphere. The bell is frequently mentioned by those who believe the Nazis traveled to the Moon, Mars, and potentially even the Aldebaran solar system. The mysterious vessel possessed an undiscovered energy source capable of sustaining travel beyond Earth's orbit. Although the rest of the world was unaware of this energy technology, it was a critical component of Germany's secret space program, which started more than a century ago. The effect zone of the bell was believed to take place between 490 and 660 feet around the vessel. Many believed strange events happened within this zone, like crystal formations within animal tissue, plant matter disintegration into greasy materials, and blood gelling and separation. The liquid fuel known as Serum 525 was believed to be the power behind the bell flying saucer. Insiders describe the fuel's hue as cherry red, velvet, or even maroon with a thick, dense, and gooey texture. Some, like novelist Henry Stevens, believe the liquid was red liquid mercury. This Serum 525 was deposited in enormous, rotating high-speed cylinders that spun at high speeds. The quick spinning, along with the charged electric tube, provided anti-gravity propulsion, allowing the spacecraft to reach incredible heights and speeds. Many Nazis were convicted at war crime proceedings after World War II for obvious crimes against humanity and abuses of human rights. Jakob Sporenberg, a former Nazi SS Uppergruppenführer, one of the highest commissioned Nazi SS positions known, was one of the defendants. Sporenberg was prosecuted for the murder of over 60 German engineers, scientists, and technicians by a Polish war crimes court. He described the Nazi Bell Project, dubbed Die Glocke, in his court affidavit. Sporenberg explained the secrecy surrounding the bell by admitting the scientists and engineers were killed to prevent them from leaking any information about the device to anybody outside the program's small, trusted circle. Number 7. C-46 Transport Plane After a search in difficult high-altitude terrain, a missing World War II jet has been located in the middle of India's remote Himalayan mountains almost 80 years after it crashed with no survivors. In the first week of 1945, a C-46 transport plane carrying 13 passengers from Kunming in southern China vanished from sight during bad weather over a hilly area of Arunachal Pradesh state. This aircraft was never seen or heard from again. It just vanished, said Clayton Cools, the mission's leader. Cools and a team of guides from the indigenous Lisu ethnic group spent months on their journey, crossing chest-deep rivers and camping in freezing weather at high altitudes. It was a dangerous mission. Three Lisu hunters died from hypothermia in the same region back in 2018 after getting caught in an unusually heavy September snowfall, while two more barely escaped death. The team was able to find the aircraft's debris by the tail number after they eventually found the jet on a snow-covered mountaintop in December 2021. There were no human remains in the wreckage. Bill Scherer, whose officer father was on board during the crash, put Cools in charge of the search. During World War II, hundreds of American military aircraft disappeared from this area around the theater of operations in India, China, and Myanmar. Although Japanese troops were responsible for some aircraft losses, Cools believes the majority of them were brought down by ice damage, hurricane force winds, and other extreme weather conditions known to frequent the region. Number 6. Wolf's Lair when the Nazis first planned to attack the Soviet Union in 1941 as part of Operation Barbarossa, they established a hidden military site deep within Poland's Masurian woodlands. Wolfschanze, or Wolf's Lair, was the name they labeled it. The steps to Adolf Hitler's barracks, two bunker doors which are believed to have been part of the ruler's private bunker, and many armored doors were found by Polish officials. The discoveries will aid researchers in determining the locations of crucial events in the lair, like the 1944 assassination attempt on Hitler. Water connections for the bunker's boiler system, pipelines, and sinks were also salvaged by excavators. The Laterba Foundation from Gdansk conducted these investigations in partnership with state forests and the Provincial Conservatory of Monuments in Olsten. Among the most significant recent discoveries is a carved stone with Hitler's Special Protection Battalion and a printed flag. Skeptics believe that displaying the heinous past of Wolf's Lair in a meaningful and suitable manner would be difficult to do. Those opposed to the building of a museum-like exhibit at Wolf's Lair are fearful it would become a pilgrimage spot for neo-Nazis. During the Second World War, Hitler and his Nazi henchmen frequently visited the Wolf's Lair. It was not only the Nazis' first substantial military station on the Eastern Front, but it also offered high-level protection for their fascist chief commander. 
Hitler was so certain his bunker in the Masurian forests was invincible that he lived there for 850 days during the war. He didn't return to his Berlin bunker until the Nazi defeat was inevitable. The structure was later demolished by fleeing Nazis. The Wolf's Lair is also a significant historical monument thanks to a failed assassination plan that happened in July 1944. On July 20, 1944, at a conference in the Lair, a group of German commanders tried to kill Hitler. Colonel Klaus von Stauffenberg, a high-ranking militiaman from the German aristocracy, was a key figure in this plan known as Operation Valkyrie. The idea was to detonate a bomb stashed in a suitcase near Adolf during a conference in the hideout. Despite the deaths of four other men, Hitler unexpectedly survived. The people involved in the assassination plan were all quickly executed. Have you ever heard of the Wolf's Lair? Tell us in the comments and hit subscribe while you're at it. Number 5. D-Day Ration Pack The world's last known surviving D-Day ration bag was found in a museum, and it still has tea and cookies inside it. The assault ration pack was given to British and Commonwealth forces for the legendary Normandy Landings operations on June 6, 1944. The staff of the Keep Military Museum in Dorchester, Dorset, England were the ones who discovered it. Originally found in 2006, the unopened ration bag was wrongly described as a 1950s artifact, but it was recently re-examined for a military ration show and identified as one of the exceedingly rare World War II assault rations. The ration bag was intended to keep troops going for 24 hours while supply channels were established. The museum's personnel sought the assistance of X-ray technology equipment because opening the pack would damage the artifact and its decades-old original contents. The supplies were enclosed in a waxy cardboard box to make the contents waterproof and gasproof. Ten biscuits, two oatmeal blocks, tea, sugar, milk blocks, one meat block, two large pieces of raisin chocolate, one piece of plain chocolate, boiled sweets, two packets of chewing gum, one packet of salt, meat extract tablets, four tablets of sugar, four pieces of toilet paper, and more were included in the package. This past June was the 78th anniversary of the D-Day landings and the Allied invasion of Normandy, which were critical in putting an end to World War II. Number 4. Battery 223 A dismal concrete structure stands out on the Atlantic shore in Cape May County, New Jersey, as though it wasn't supposed to be there. The locals are well aware of what the object is, but it often surprises tourists. Dubbed as Battery 223, the structure served as a port defense battery for the United States Army's Fort Miles military base during World War II. Its construction was completed in 1943 as part of a modernization scheme that planned for defenses on both the east and west coastlines. The battery was built to resist direct blows from battleships as well as aircraft and was reinforced with concrete walls six inches thick and a blast-proof roof. The building was hidden by sand and soil and was outfitted with six-inch spikes, as the conflict shifted in favor of the Allies and military technology advanced, Battery 223 was dismantled in 1944. In 1958, it was briefly used for radio communications by the Navy until becoming part of Cape May Point State Park in 1962. The place does not even remotely resemble what it did 77 years ago. The battery was erected about 900 feet from the beach. It is now right up against the water. It's also no longer covered in dirt, but plants now grow on the roof. Number 3. Burlington Bunker The Burlington Bunker, a 35-acre subterranean facility in England, was kept completely secret from the public until its declassification back in 2004. It was hidden nearly 100 feet beneath churches, cottages, and cobblestone streets in the charming Wiltshire market town of Corsham, where a pre-existing series of subsurface limestone caverns made the place more than suitable for a top-secret bunker. The bunker was built to be bomb, radiation, and poison gas proof when it was made in 1955 during the Cold War era to allow government personnel to continue working in the case of a nuclear attack. For 30 years, it also housed England's second largest phone exchange until the system was later decommissioned. The Burlington bunker could support up to 4,000 central government personnel at any given time and could run for up to three months with no outside contact. It drew water from a nearby subterranean lake and even had a treatment plant to make this water drinkable. It was designed for both working and living. It had kitchens, offices, washing facilities, supply rooms, cafeterias, and even a hospital. There was also a television studio where the government could broadcast public messages if deemed necessary. A pneumatic tube system helped to assist communication inside the structure. The bunker was about a mile long and contained over 60 miles of roadways, as well as a hidden rail connection linking it to a nearby major railway. Ultimately, the facility was never actually used, and at the time it was decommissioned, it was managed by only four Ministry of Defense staff. 
Its future is unknown as it still lies stuck in time, with some trying to preserve it and others believing it should be reimagined. Number 2. The Secret Weather Station on the island of Alexandraland near the North Pole, the ruins of a World War II German outpost called Schatzgraber or Treasure Hunter can be found. Meteorologists that were stationed there kept the military updated on meteorological conditions in Northern Europe and the Northern Seas. Although the World War II facility was hidden from outsiders, it was mentioned in multiple sources. Despite being abandoned in 1944, Schatzgraber could not be fully studied thanks to the island getting completely covered with ice. When the mild winter of 2016 finally thawed Schatzkaba, Russian experts validated what the sources had indicated. Each building and its contents were documented for the first time. They displayed an unsettling team. After undercooking a hunted polar bear in January 1944, the men stationed there acquired a painful roundworm infection. When the evacuation plane touched down, one of its wheels was damaged, so it had to wait for a spare to be airdropped. When the six soldiers were eventually carried away, their commander had to be rendered unconscious due to his insanity. The airfield and over 600 emergency items including tinned food, clothes, instructions, ammo, and weapons were found after a thorough investigation. Number 1. The Burning Brigade's Tunnel Nazis realized they lost the war towards the end of World War II. They sought to obliterate a camp in Lithuania's Poner Forest, where nearly 100,000 people had died. 80 Jewish inmates were transported from multiple sites to be exhumed and burned. The individuals assigned to this task were known as the Burning Brigade. After months of searching, the Jewish workers reached a breaking point when they found their own family members inside the mass graves. The brigade built a secret escape tunnel using spoons and anything else they could find for 76 nerve-wracking and endless days. The prisoners rushed to their escape on the cloudy night of April 15, 1944. Despite being overheard inside the tunnel, they continued past two barbed wire fences and a minefield. As they fled, the inmates were chased by dogs and had to avoid gunshots and mortars. Twelve men escaped, and the testimony of eleven of them led to the discovery of the collapsed tunnel's entrance years ago. Archaeologists used scanning technologies to find the rest of the site in 2016. The tunnel, about 112 feet long, demonstrated the men's remarkable will to survive despite the atrocities they had witnessed and experienced firsthand. Thanks for watching. Which one of these discoveries did you find the most interesting? Tell us in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again and we'll see you next time for another amazing video right here on American Eye.